Kansas Farm Bureau is celebrating 100 years of advocacy, education, and service. Leaders like Rich and Shirley Feltz have forged a path for Kansas farmers and ranchers through their service to their communities, industries, and farm organization. Most of my time with Farm Bureau has really been around serving on committees more so than actually serving on the board. But one of my first most memorable experiences is getting to work on use value appraisal. We had multiple meetings of which the one is the most memorable to me is sitting in our county office with our state senator trying to explain to him the merits of use value appraisal. As we all know, use value appraisal did pass, become a constitutional amendment, and we live under that premises today. Throughout time then, we continue to serve uh, basically on our county farm bureau policy committees and went through the Carl program. And having done that, decided that there was more that I could contribute to agriculture. A couple of years later, got the opportunity to be able to be a district director. And as time goes on, other opportunities avail themselves. Then was elected vice president for three years and now I've had the opportunity to serve our organization as president for the past four years. When Rich was voted in as president of Kansas Farm Bureau, I was pleased that he asked that I would be there with him. One aspect of, of our organization is the connectivity that we have. We talk about the grassroots, but also when we look at it on a bigger scale, we're county organizations involved with a state organization involved with a national American Farm Bureau. But our connectivity goes much beyond that as well. Because for us to be effective in agriculture, we're minor in compared to our society anymore. And the fact that we must be connected with our other commodity groups, it's imperative that we all work together on these issues. Sometimes I think we feel like, well, it's just a Farm Bureau issue. No, it's not. It's an issue that affected all of agriculture, and we work diligently with those groups to in the best interest of agriculture. You know, there's one thing about Rich. We've, we've been through good times and we've been through the hard times and we've lost livestock to fires and we've, you know, been through many of the challenges. We've had bad crop years, we've had floods, just like so many across the state. We've even had drought, even though it's hard to believe in Southeast Kansas, we can have a drought. But it's just that Rich has been through all of that. He's approachable. Talk to him and, and his leadership is of great value because we've experienced along with farmers and ranchers across Kansas some of the same things that they're going through right now. As we look at these issues in the past, we've gone back for a hundred years. Not that I have gone back a hundred years, thank goodness. But for a hundred years, we've been able to address the issues that affect agriculture in our rural communities. Here today, as those issues that I've talked about, they're important to us. But as we look to the future, I'm sure that we will have issues, not exactly like we've had in the past, that they will be very similar. So as we go forward, I think it's important that we lay the groundwork that our organization can function to meet the needs of agriculture and be a voice for agriculture. But within our organization, as you become more involved, and in my case, become a district director, that hour or two becomes into days. Well, we can compensate for an hour or two on our own, but in our case here, like so many others that have become in leadership roles, you have to have assistance to make your farming operation continue. In our case, We've been in a partnership since right after we got started with my brother and I. And today we have a son and he has a son-in-law that are actively involved in our operation. So without the assistance of those individuals, it'd be impossible for me to continue my role, not only as a director and missing a day or two off the farm, but as become president, time becomes a lot more critical and a priority to what we do.